Okay, guys, welcome back. Part two of my uh, building a 30 out 6 uh, ammo and taking it to the range and shooting it. Yesterday, I uh, showed you how I built it with uh, less than 2,000 run out. I uh, sized it with my uh, small base dies, seeded it with my competition die, crimped it. I weighed the powder to the exact grain. I um, checked my overall length. I did my bullet comparator and made sure my uh, bullets were, my shoulders were bumped right. My uh, bullets had to all the same ojive on it within a thousandths. I, um, I checked my run out and it was less than 2,000, so I was ready to go shoot quarter inch groups at 5,000 yards. Okay, but it was very disappointing, very disappointing. Um, first of all, I go to a public range. A half hour from my shop. I forget my damn chronograph. Yep, I forget my chronograph. It's new. I don't usually take it to the range, so I forgot it, and it's 30, 35, 40 minutes from where I am. So we're not going to get any feet per second, but that's okay. I set up at the range, and I'll show you in a little bit with footage. I set up at the range, and the wind is running uh, 10 to 12 mile an hour, gusts 15 to 18, 20 mile an hour gusts. Uh, hell, there was boxes, there was uh, everything in the world, tree limbs, everything blowing all over the place. We had a big storm yesterday. Um, moving here about six, seven in the evening. I got out there about four. So it was uh, very disappointing to say the least. But I'm very humbled. Um, I thought, boy, this will be easy to go out there and shoot a uh, uh, ammo test at the range and shoot three, five round groups. Um, I'll load me 56 grain of powder, 56.5 grain of powder, and 57 grain of powder, and I'll see which one groups the best, and this will be easy. I figured I'd be putting them all in a dime at 100 yards. Uh, my ammo's perfect, you know, I, I can't make any mistakes. Well, to say the least, I'm humbled, okay? With the wind, the environmental conditions, the uh, bail jumpers out there shooting with me, um, I had people shooting my damn target, okay? And I was, they were stealing my brass, and brass is so hard to prep and trim and uh, uniform. And I tried to keep my brass so I could check my uh, pressure signs with my primers and my head stamps and my head case and see if I had any separation because uh, I loaded these a little bit hotter than I usually like. Um, so, hell, when I was chasing down my brass, they were shooting my targets. It was just a crazy day. I did get, even though the wind was blowing hard, I could salvage one group of four. I had a dead primer strike also. So I only got a group of four instead of a group of five, but I shot a 1.6 at 100 yards in 15 to 18 mile an hour gusts uh, wind. So I thought that wasn't bad, okay? The other, uh, my ciders, I shot a 1.3 with my ciders, but uh, this is the one that uh, somebody peppered with AK-47. We won't talk about that. Um, I'll just uh, pick a better time during the week when uh, all these, uh, Bell jumpers are uh, asleep, or hell, they don't work, so they got to be asleep. But anyway, check this footage out. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Hopefully, next time I get my chronograph, I get my shit together, and I'll uh, put together a better video for you all to uh, enjoy. Thank you, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Uh, please leave me some comments, like my videos, um, and uh, by all means, subscribe. I need subscribers. Thanks, guys. Good. About a one-inch group so far. Three shots down, two left.
holding it about an inch. Alright guys, I'm going to shoot five more, 57 grain of powder, we'll see what happens. Brass is good. Good pressure sign. Pressure signs. Last one. Pressure shots. If the wind wasn't blowing 15 mile an hour, we'll be all right. You can shut off now. Dead primer strike. Shit happens. So now we'll shoot a four shot group.
Okay, guys, that was it. And like I said, I was very humbled. Um, I get it. I need two cameras. I only had one. Uh, the camera work was a little shitty. Uh, we're learning. Um, actually, I'm just glad I didn't lose my shit, okay? Like I said, those bell jumpers out there, I don't even think half of them deserve to be in the country or are supposed to be in the country, all right? I don't know where the hell they come from. But anyway, I'll get it right next time. I'll get your chronograph out there. I'll get uh, uh, a better camera. Um, my camera I was using wasn't real good. I've got a real good GoPro. I forgot to bring it too. So I was using my cell phone. Um, so we'll, we got a lot of room for uh, to grow there. Like I said, that was a total bust yesterday. But uh, I wasn't going to leave you guys hanging and make part uh, one of the video, not make part two. So uh, there's a learning curve and all this stuff, and I'm learning. I'm just a simple country boy from West Virginia, guys. I'm not no producer, director, uh, actor, uh, script. I, you know, any of my videos, uh, I have no script for it. I just talk out my ass, all right? I just say what's, whatever's on my mind, whatever I can think of that's on my mind. So bear with me, guys. I'm getting better. I'm making video, better videos. Just remember to... Uh, Subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments. Um, this is how everybody on YouTube gets started. I've been uh, making videos for about three months now. Uh, four months, three and a half months, something like that. And uh, it's uh, there's more to it than what you think. There's more to shooting these videos at the range. There's more to shooting the videos in the shop. I'm just lucky I've got the resources to shoot them in the shop. I've got all my reloading equipment, and it's what I do every day. So. Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll ramble on forever if you let me. Uh, I'm just glad I didn't lose my shit get pissed off. And crazy son of bitches out there that can't even speak English. I don't know what the hell they're doing in this country. I don't even know if they can own a gun or not. I think they're just out there to pick up brass, try to sell the brass. You just got to watch them. Uh, they drive you nuts. Um, anyway, um, that was it. I'm glad the... Uh, um, I got a little bit of footage. Um, like I said, I don't script anything. I just say what's on my mind. And of course I get accused of uh, drinking too much whiskey and hanging out with hoochie mamas. And, and you know, I'm probably guilty of that. But anyway, guys, uh, it's, it's the way it goes, you know. It is what it is. All right, guys, stay tuned. Uh, Keep uh, checking, check every day. I usually try to load a video every day, every other day. And remember, subscribe, 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 and subscribe. I appreciate it. It just drives you nuts. Hell, I don't even think they uh, can own a gun or uh, got U.S. Uh, citizenship. I don't think they're supposed to be in the damn country. None of them speak English. All they're out there doing is uh, picking up brass and making tacos and, and riding in on their unicorns and uh, it just don't get me started. Like I said, don't don't get me started. I'm trying to keep from losing, <laughs> trying to stay politically correct and not piss off all these buttercups and snowflakes and um, uh, every ethnic group, every religious group in America. Uh, Jesus Christ. I, uh, <laughs> you guys remember to subscribe. Later.